MW3 might have some of the easiest camo challenges I've ever seen and also one of the hardest. So if you look at our camos here for the MTZ, the challenges are actually really simple. Like this one here is get 50 kills with it. The next one after that is 50 kills while ADS and then 15 headshots and then 25 kills in tax stance, which are all super, super simple. And then when we get to the gold challenge, if you got the COD reloading disease like I do, it's time to seek treatment because this is get three operator kills with one magazine 10 times so not just three kills without dying you need to get three operator kills with the same mag 10 times now this really should not be that difficult but i reload the second i shoot two bullets if there's any room in that magazine for more ammo i am refilling it so i made sure i grabbed the largest mag that i could and threw it on here this is going to be an atrocious build but we're going to try to make it work so modern warfare 3 has officially released globally no longer just for the people that were uh region swapping their xboxes to play it in new zealand so my uh, gaming visa has officially been revoked and I am absolutely garbage on controller. So I haven't touched the multiplayer really since the beta. I was playing zombies the whole time, thus this camo that I got on. But I did try to hop on multiplayer and play a game or two. My first game I hopped on, I was getting absolutely smacked. So I backed out of that game. I'm like, you know what? That's a fluke. Let's, let's try another one. And I went 10 and 38 promptly got the fuck out of multiplayer and just played zombies again for the next few hours and i'm already starting to realize this build i made is terrible it's like i was trying to go for heavy recoil hold on this needs to change i was talking a big game saying that a lot of these camos are easy so it's time to put my money where my mouth is and get some of this shit unlocked and i might actually just be struggling with every single one of these camos now wait there we go a quick double kill two kills without dying is very impressive for me it's basically like a nuke honestly i might be better just switching this gun to its default version and only throwing on the 50 round mag once we get to the gold challenge because this is bad i'm like tickling these guys but this is still day zero of the game it literally just launched like 20 minutes ago and i feel like we're in for a good year of cod i mean this this is definitely like the new game goggles on you know we got the new game smell still going on strong but I've already been having a lot of fun with the zombies. I really enjoyed the multiplayer in the beta. Right now, I'm getting my ass kicked. So my opinion's a little swayed at the moment. But I know this multiplayer is a lot of fun. We're getting a lot of maps that we've already know and love. And not to mention a bunch of camos to get not only just for all these MW3 guns, all the new guns coming out, but we have a ton. For the mw2 weapons as well like there's so much to grind in this game but my big concern with it right now is i hope it don't get stale i really hope it don't because i'm gonna enjoy this now and probably for a few weeks but if like new stuff isn't getting added if they're not keeping it fresh this might get old quick but what i have seen on twitter is like locked versions of upcoming playlists and one of them is an experimental playlist where it says in like the description of it that it, that's where they'll be trying out new like gameplay touches updates you know any changes that they might make and players can play on that and then give sledgehammer their feedback on whether or not they like the changes they're making before they implement it to the full game which i like a lot honestly i think we're in really good hands with sledgehammer i think uh, a lot of people get a bad taste in their mouth when you think of sledgehammer because of vanguard but i really think they are a studio that cares a lot about call of duty and what a lot of what the fans think in their feedback so i think as as long as the community is like voicing their opinions and you know they're keeping it uh what's the word constructive keeping the criticism constructive i think we'll have a fine year with sledgehammer and if there's anything wrong with the game or some huge problem with it they'll be right on top of it to uh, fix it this guy's fucking scooby doing me that's bullshit oh yeah spray my body too but we could just be in that part of the cod cycle where nothing can go wrong the new game is amazing you can't foresee anything wrong happening with it but i like to be hopeful and i've been doing this for a few years now so i think i'm fully into the cod hive mind of loving the game right when it co first comes out i'm sure i was saying some of the same shit about mw2 but to be fair there was a bloomberg article to come out today where they interviewed i don't know if it was devs at certain call of duty studios or how they got this information but it was passed down that the people at infinity ward like the executives up at the top 
were like halting a lot of creative decisions and stopping a lot of the game developers and publishers. Honestly, I don't know the difference. I'm an idiot. But anytime they'd bring something that they wanted to do with the game, it would have to go through them and they would just say mm, no and like brush it to the side. Like this game was supposed to have like a pick 10 loadout system. And for whatever reason, they just said, yeah, we're not having that. We don't want that. So I don't have all the most up to date information on this. I just saw some tweets from like Charlie Intel, but it does kind of make sense. I felt like all last year, all the community was doing was trying to like give feedback and be like, we don't like this. Like, especially like with a, the perk system with the uh, waiting like half the game to get like all your perks, which is a crazy change that nobody asked for and everybody wanted fixed. And it's like they basically ignored us the entire time. But COD is now under new management. It was bought by Microsoft. I don't think we're gonna get any like huge changes. Like I don't think Microsoft's gonna save Call of Duty, but you know, some little changes here and there, they might start making things for the better. What they really got to do is make these lobbies for the better. I need lobbies going against five-year-old children with missing digits on their hands. And that way I can actually get some streaks going and some camos unlocked. Because anybody that is somewhat competent at this game is kicking my ass. Dude, what the actual fuck? All right. I'm getting body sprayed again? I'm not even doing good. You're not even like shitting on me that crazy. Leave me alone. I'm taking every attachment off this gun. Besides this 50 round mag, I'm gonna have to earn these attachments and we got smacked. I got 13 kills and I'm guessing 28 deaths. Oh, 23. Better than I thought. All right, you know what? There's gotta be a mindset thing. I gotta go into this thinking that I'm the best player in this fucking lobby. There we go. Okay, we're, we're doing something here. Something extraordinary. And we got orange tones. That's our 50 kills done. I should probably start working on my tax stance kills though. I don't think I've gotten a single one of those. There's one. Just need about a uh, hundred more. Ooh, two. Actually, tax stance is a wave. No, it's not. Tax stance sucks. New meta. Remove it from the game because it's awful, not because it's broken. Broken in a bad way. Broken in a good way. All right, they're giving us rust. There's no way we don't get camos done here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, keep them coming. Okay, they did. Oh, we got our first streak and we got the purple camo. So that means we're all done with our tax stance kills and go back to shooting like a normal person. Honestly, tax stance is pretty fucking cool though. I just cannot hit anything at any range outside of in my mouth and even then it's a toss-up oh and there's our glitch camo we just need like one more camo and we can start working on gold oh that was the problem the whole time i didn't have a sick ass suppressor on no wonder i wasn't getting headshots Ooh! oh we get it immediately okay i think now we really need to get the three kills with the same mag Oh, and I think we just did it. And I reloaded the second I got it though, like instinctually. So I hope that counts. It should, it definitely should. But I wanna give them a reason to not give it to me. They just added an extra layer of stress to this challenge. Oh, one more, show yourself, anybody. Let's go. Look at these camo challenges teaching me something. Not to reload after every goddamn kill. Oh, that's another one. The final bullet too. Damn, this game. We did decent though. We had 55 kills. All it takes for me is to play on one small map. 55 and 31. Not terrible. Might actually be our first positive KD of this game. But how are we doing camo wise? We got all these done. Oh, we actually got five out of 10 there. No shot. We get rust again. It's over. This camo is done. Let's see if we can get this nice little spray down the middle here. There we go. That's three. Fuck it, we'll get four in the same mag. See if I care. Oh, let's fucking go. Can I get a kill in these nine bullets? Yes, I can. Thank you, teammate, for injuring him. Oh, what a fumble. Come on. Oh, wait, we got it? What? How? I'm fucking perplexed. I mean, shit. I'll take it. 
I don't know how we did it. And that's the game. We did significantly worse that time. I say as I have 47 kills. I'm almost positive I had like double the death. At least double that we had last game. Oh no, we went even. Look at that. 47 and 47. Surprised we even got the camo done. Unless the game's trolling me. Did we actually get it done? Oh, we did. Thank God. And this is what Gilded looks like in game. Honestly, I am not the biggest fan of it. It almost just looks like default gold, like from a distance. But then you inspect it and you just see all these little circles on it. Like I said, when the camos were first revealed, this just kind of just reminds me of like a hotel ceiling or something. It, I don't know. I think the zombies gold looks way better than this, but this is definitely way easier to get. Actually, that's debatable. Anyways, we got our first gold or I guess gilded in multiplayer and there is more where that came from. And I hope the challenges across the board are kind of similar to this. They are pretty easy, but then once we get into the mastery challenges, it gets a little more difficult. Like you actually have to put a little bit of thought into what you're doing, but I really like how simple and seamless it is to hop on and get some camos for these guns. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.